welcome back to the channel and if you're a new subscriber coming over from martin johnson off grid living thank you very much we are very happy to have you guys um, so with that being said, we're going to jump right into the video. It's going to be very, very interesting. Some of you may not have seen this on my channel before because it only happens like once a year. Today, I'm going to attempt to be loading up um, the hogs. They're going to the processor tomorrow. Um, so there's two ways. I'm going to walk over here. I'll show you. There's two different ways I'm going to attempt this. The first way more than likely won't work, but if it does, it's going to save me some work and a little bit of a headache. Um, but if, if, if it doesn't work, then I have another plan that will work. Check this out. Okay, I got some OSB board here, and I'll explain that in just a second. But I've been feeding the pigs right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the trailer up here in just a minute, right up to this gate. And this is why I put this gate over here so I can back. Hey, hey dogs, there's Gracie and there's Gabby. That way I could back the trailer right up in here, open up the gate, open the gate up, put some corn in the in the back of the trailer. I'm hoping they will just jump right in there. And they're already coming over. They're hungry. Um, the, hoping they'll come right in here and just jump in. I can close it. That'd be perfect. That'd be the perfect scenario. But if it doesn't work that way, I'm actually going to have my father-in-law come over. He's going to bring his um, his post driver and some T-posts that he has. And we're actually going to make an alleyway out of the OSB board. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute. I'm starting to try to load them. But before we get into that, I want to show you guys something I got set up yesterday. Um, I put a little short out on it. I'm actually super excited about this. Um, this is a big deal for me and my family. Um, and because we're off grid and we don't have a deep freezer out here until now So my nephew and I went and picked up uh, the deep freezer from the uh, storage unit yesterday and got it over here So I'm actually going to be uh, having the deep freezer out here um, and we will Show you all that but I got to clean it out. It's got it's a little bit dirty from um, whenever we moved but I'll clean this out and actually got some deer meat to put in there um, but the cool thing about this the awesome thing about this is how I'm running my um, deep freezer out here. I'm going to be running off the Blue Eddy, and since I brought it up, since I'm showing it to you, Blue Eddy is actually doing a huge giveaway right now. I think running until they're having a big sell on their website too. Um, so in Blue Eddy, if you're not uh, if you're not familiar with it, I did a whole review video on this uh, probably about a month ago, um, running the whole cabin. So you guys can go check it out. You can see everything it runs. Um, it's actually running my deep freezer now, and that's the plan. Let me let me turn this around and show it to you guys. So I actually have it hooked up, and I've been testing it for the last two days, uh, yesterday and today. And um, so the way I got it set up, we actually run this um, generator for the well. We're in the well house. We run it for the well. Um, but I got it hooked up where you can actually charge this while it's running this. So each time I run the generator for the water um, to do laundry and stuff, it's actually charging that. So Blue Eddie's actually doing a giveaway. I think I just said that. Um, they actually um, sponsor, they're sponsoring our expo. And uh, they have sent me a Blue Eddy to give away at the Oki Homestead Expo. And this thing, um, it's anywhere from like $1,500 to $2,000. I have to go look to see exactly. Re um, the, it's a really good chunk of change, but it's really worth it. If you guys go back and watch the video I posted on running the whole tiny cabin, it's, it's, it works awesome. We actually ran the 110 dryer on it, on the washing machine. We're running our freezer full time now. Um, and I'm super excited to have it. I'm super excited to be able to offer it to someone at the Expo. Um, they were going to do like a giveaway on the channel, um, but we're we're having the big expo and we want to offer something that way also so that's one that's one way that they're going to give back to us and uh, we agreed to show it again on the channel for you guys um, because we're actually using this i'll be using it every single day now so it's not like they just sent me a product and i made a video and i don't use it anymore we're actually using it every single day and um, so far so good i actually ran it by itself um, overnight and it went from like 93 percent charged um, last night for 10 out for i ran it for 10 hours and it went down 50 percent so that's really, really good. It wasn't even fully charged. It was close, but not fully charged. Um, so my guess in the in the in the little um, short I did, I said probably 20 hours runtime. Uh, so I, I think I'm gonna have no problem running this full time, especially when it's charging on that and it keeps it charged. So it's charged at 94% right now because I was doing laundry earlier. So it went from 50 to 94%, 93% in a matter of about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, that's the thing about a freezer. You only, it has a surge, a big surge to kick the compressor on, and then it hardly uses any energy. It doesn't even, it doesn't even run all the time. Um, if you're familiar with uh, uh, freezers, um, once it gets cold, it shuts down, it's not running. Um, it uses the light when you open the door. So um, that's actually pretty good. That's why it's, I'm able to use it for so long. And it's awesome. So, hey, if you guys want in on the Blue Eddy giveaway, it's a huge giveaway. Come to the Oki Homestead next book because we will be giving it away to someone at the expo right then. I already have the product just waiting 
until the expo comes to give away to you guys. So if you are um, not coming to the expo and you do want a Blue Eddy, if you're interested in, they are putting a big sale on, I'll put a link down below. I um, mean, you guys can go check out all the details on that. So a big thank you to Blue Eddy uh, for sponsoring, sponsoring the expo. It's awesome. We really appreciate the sponsors that are sponsoring. We got some big ones coming. We haven't really announced any. I think it's like the first sponsor that we've announced for that. Um, there's gonna be some huge, huge giveaways, including um, that Blue Eddy. So. Stay tuned for that. All right, so enough of this. Um, I'm gonna hook the trailer up and um, we're gonna attempt to load the pigs. They're already coming over there to eat. So fingers crossed that they will just load right up. I hope I hope they do, because uh, then it's gonna save me and my father-in-law a little bit of a headache, you might say, like I said a minute ago, but I'm gonna hook it up and we'll come over here and we'll see what we can do. Just a boy dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are. Ooh, I wanna grow. dreams come true Okay. Oh yeah, they can get through there. So I'm gonna open the gate. I'm gonna go get some corn, open the gate, and hopefully they jump right up in here. Brandy, I'll have you back the trailer up next time. No. Exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit harder than you think when you're trying to get it at a certain angle. I got a big tree in the way I need to cut. Uh, but I'm gonna go grab some corn. And like I said, I'll get it up in here and we'll see if we can't get them to come in here. <laughs> We're gonna get a, we're gonna get a, log or something like this, stick it right there. I got to post them a stick right there just so they don't try to squeeze in this way because um, I can't open the gate or anything. The gates, if the gate opened from the opposite side, it probably wouldn't be a big deal, but since they're coming that way, I don't want them veering out that way. Let's see if I can get this. I need to go in there, but they're so hungry. A lot of the push on this is hurting. I hear you snoring. They're like, we didn't agree to this diet. They're hungry. Quit that, quit. Yeah, hopefully they'll get up in there, but if not, we'll make a corral They're and we'll get really them in there. not stepped up much No, not yet. On anything. Or I mean ever. I could take it off the truck and lower it down. I just don't want it to come off the jack. I don't want it to fall. We can we can lower that. I'm just saying they haven't ever I know, so I'm saying up. if I lower it, it makes it lower to the ground and maybe they'll be more They have short enticed. little legs. Yeah, I may have to do that. Let's see what this Boy, one does. Once one of them does it, then the other will. They're just so dang big. Hi, baby. Your food's in there. Your food's in there. Why don't you guys all get in there? All right, I'll leave you alone. Okay, Brandy's giving them an egg. We got two of them in there. I didn't have the camera on. I was able to get two of them. This one wants to get in there. I need to get on the other side in case it jumps up in there. Throw a couple of them in there, Brandy. Oh, there's some in the house. On, on I know, that's how they eat. So this one right here was wanting to get in, but the other one pushed it out of the way. Um, but we was able to at least get the two loaded. And from my experience, two 
is awesome to get those two out of the way and then you worry about the other two. So we're just waiting for this one to wait for this one to get his feet up in there. I'm gonna use the gate to try to push it in there, but they're being a little stubborn right now. So we like you seen earlier, we got two of them up there. The one over here, you see that one branding in the corner? That one was trying to get in there, but then one of the other ones pushed it out of the way. This one's the this is the first time this one's actually tried to get up in there and eat something. So if we can get him in there, I think it won't be too bad to get that one in there. Because that one already tried. Yeah, and we need to lock all three of them up in the same one up top. So, oh, this one? Yeah, if we get in there and we'll close it. But her Brand, Brandy's dad's coming over with some T-posts and stuff. I think I said that earlier. And uh, we'll set up a little corral right here. And uh, we'll be able to get them in that way. But I was hoping to avoid that. But I think it's just going to come down to it. Hey, I gave you an egg, mister. And see, the thing about pigs, once you lose their trust, once once I poke them to get them in there and they know something's up, you it, they're impossible to gain the trust back in this short amount of time. You're so sweetie. you don't want to lose their trust at all because they are smart and uh, they are they're on they can get on to you. So if we can just get him up over there, I think we can get. He him. had his little feet up there for a minute, and then he decided nope. Watch when I just nudge his butt. He's gonna turn. Don't around. even do it. So he doesn't. He says I'm not a show pig. Actually, they're show they're uh, show. They're breed the, they're the hampshires yeah they're but actually, he says i haven't been trained yeah, to show he's not don't trained. hit me in the butt so we just kind of need to back off a little bit i'll give them their space just for a minute but i need to stay in the pen so i can close everything real quick but they're too curious of what if i got food or whatnot um, we use scraps to get them in there but we're out of scraps so i can go get some eggs you want to get some eggs and we can try that yeah. okay brady's gonna go get some eggs and try that He's got to get his legs up in there. I would just wait for him to get his legs before he do anything. Do he do not want to move. Here, hold this. All the chickens. Well, it's starting to come down pretty good. We have to put this camera up. The chicken just went in there. It may be their lunch, um, but the, it's starting to rain on. It's pretty good, so we have to put the camera up. And uh, hopefully, when we come back, we'll have the pigs loaded. Trying to get on camera, but it just ain't happening today. So one thing I've realized raising pigs over the last seven years or so, when you're trying to load them, you need if they don't go in there like those two did, you have to make an alleyway. But the best thing I've found out um, to help is put boards up on both sides because if they see light on this side, they'll just try to run through it. And if you got blocked off, or they just see one thing, a lot of times they'll go straight in there. So I'm gonna put this right here, you know, then we'll get another one and try to make a wall. Uh -huh. That's cool. <laughs> hey, this boat was like gold here about four months ago. This went down quite a bit. My plan was to mill some wood and use some two inch uh, mills and make a run, but it just didn't happen. We'll have to get them, once we get them trapped over here, I think it's gonna go a lot smoother. But now they're laying down. Brandon, you can go over there. Can you record them from over here? Watch them laying down, take a nap. Oh my gosh. Nap. You see them? Yes. They're, they're cuddled up.
So, you two are supposed to be over there. What are you doing hanging out over here? Huh? We're gonna get you a little treat and I need you to follow me over to the trailer, okay? Can you do that for me? I really need you in that trailer tonight. Let's see if we can make that happen. Right over there, okay? Let's see if they fall for it. Here, pick. Here, pick. Here, piggy, piggy. Are they Hansel and Gretel? Come here. You've been waiting all year to use that line, haven't no, you? No, I didn't know you were going to use breadcrumbs. Use whatever, I'll get them in there. The chickens like, the chickens like bagels. You stirred at the stick, you see that? Yeah, he's smart. Come on, baby. Okay, here's the... Here's the tricky part, I need to get in there. Just hurdle right over there. I can't. Hold this, bring me. He's coming in there. I don't want you to get too muddy. I can get in there. I don't want to get hurt either, but this thing's gonna hurt. all the time Randy. I could have just nicely given him an egg. I don't know which one was the more stubborn if it's the one we already got or I don't that know. one. At this point. If we can get him in here then I can get him in there. He wasn't happy about that little poke. <laughs> you go give me a little egg. No. All right, I want to go. In. He would have listened with an egg. He says that didn't sound very pleasant. Look at that chicken. They're coming behind you. Come on, bud. Come on, Hansel. <laughs> well, he can't be Gretel. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Yeah, how are you gonna get through that? I'm gonna have to pull that. If I can get him up over there, you open it, and I'm just gonna. What's up, Mary? <laughs> what are you doing, Bob? You guys haven't seen Bobby in a while. So they are all wanting in the pig pen now since the pigs aren't in there. Uh, so we finally got them loaded up. We showed as much as we could. Brandy ended up, end up having to put the camera down. Let's see here. Uh, she didn't have to put the camera down, but now they're all just relaxed and calm. I'm actually going to take them up today, a day early. I called the processor, and uh, after a certain time, you can drop them off. That's why when their uh, office hours are closed. Um, so I'm going to take them up tonight, and uh, we'll have them at the processor. Uh, now, if you guys aren't familiar with um, why we raise pigs, we raise pigs for our freezer, obviously, um, but we also raise them for um, other families. We, we raised um, Orange Family Homestead's pig this year. Um, he got them for us, all four of them. He paid for them. Met me in Tulsa. We unloaded them, got them over here, and um, I've been raising them ever since. So he'll call the processor tomorrow. They'll call him and get what cuts he wants. Well, we come over and drag me. Camera on too. <laughs> <laughs> that got me good. 
Um, same thing with all the other ones. So that these these four pigs are feeding seven families, and uh, that, that's awesome. There'll be six of us uh, splitting them, and then Daniel gets a whole one, like I said. So these are some big, big pigs. I think every one of them are 350 plus. Um, this one's probably over 400. I mean, and that's not ideal. What we want, we actually got really good stock the last couple of years and they've grown really really big a lot quicker than i'm used to um, so we may end up getting pigs if we're getting the same stock next year maybe a month later um, or we can get them the same time and just have a processing date a month earlier it's just, it's just kind of hard um, when you because when, we go through different whatever kind of pigs we can get our hands on is usually what we raise um, we're not real picky when it comes to that um, so sometimes you don't get good as good quality sometimes you get really good stock like this and they grow a lot better so it's just one of the things you just kind of have to see and where the processes are this year i had to set a date up pretty much i actually set the date before i even got the pigs so before the pigs were born they already had a processing date um, of tomorrow so that's how crazy it is um, with the whole processing and and this side of the side of the country over here in northeast oklahoma so before i get off here what i'm going to do with these extra boards i don't know if i explained that to you guys earlier i actually bought the osb just for this purpose right here hoping i wouldn't have to do this but you guys seen i had to i'm actually going to be wrapping them around the chicken coop you guys know this is a temporary chicken coop that's turned into uh, more of a long term for now while we're doing other things um, but for this winter i'm going to actually put all these boards up around um, the chicken coop for this winter so those boards will not go to waste and uh yeah so yeah so i got for you guys in today's video hope you guys liked it if you did smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and uh thanks for watching we'll catch you on next video okay we got i got them all unloaded i've already weighed these two you can see one right there weighed 402 i'm not sure where the other one's at it's in here somewhere right there that one weighed 402. This big hoss is at 438. Those are huge, huge. Now we got to get this one out. Come on, move. You're supposed to go the other way. Come on. this one in come on this one is the lightest of the bunch 390 wow Whew. all right so i'll just leave them here overnight you're supposed to go that way that way And we'll see we'll see you guys later.